Merry Christmas. Hey, we're a week, a week away from Christmas. A week away, a week and a couple of days. You've already read the title, you cheater. It's Fibrofoot. What is Fibrofoot? Say hi, kitty. Anyways, what's Fibrofoot? Just another place where fibromyalgia hits us. I read up on it because my feet have been killing me. And there's a lot of talk about it. So I'd like us to start the discussion. Do you have foot issues if you have fibro? Is it something you've noticed? Is it something that comes and goes? I'll tell you, I, I have a thing called palm erythema. My, my hands are damaged badly by the nerve cells have all cracked and broken. And so blood pools in my hands. I used to think that the pain in my feet was the same thing because they said it could be in the foot. But I've been reading up on fibrofoot and fibromyalgics have pain from the head to the toe. Fibrofoot is a normal thing. We, as fibromyalgics, we're much more sensitive to pain and pressure points. And the foot takes the biggest beating of all of our body because we're just always on it. And yes, I feel my feet, foot pain much more on the days that I've been active than I do on days that I'm not. So I'm basically starting this conversation to find out what do you guys do for it, if you have it at all. I can tell you what I did last night and it helped. I have a CBD topical cream. I rubbed it all over my feet and I finally fell asleep at midnight. That was, that was when I put it on because the pains were just getting too much and I was unable to sleep. So I use CBD topical and it really helped. Now I, I woke this morning and they still hurt and I have a big day ahead of me. So I'm going to try that again. I also do find that a nice hot soak in the tub and then right as you're leaving, you dip your feet in cold water and it tends to just shock the nerves and make it feel better. It, it seems to work for me. At least that's what I used to do now that I have the cream, although it costs money, you know, water costs nothing. So sometimes the home remedies are the best because we all know that we spend too much money on medication and we don't need a reason to get something new. Because uh, no, smoking, vaping, eating has not helped my foot pain. Uh, the topical seems to be the only thing medically that I can do so far. Today, I will be going early. Those of you who see me online, often where I volunteer, um, won't see me because it's my son's <laughs> Christmas celebration. No, they call it winter solstice celebration. They're celebrating the winter solstice, which isn't here yet, but it's coincidentally near Christmas. I, I get such a kick out of trying to be politically correct so that you offend nobody except all those people who truly love Christmas. You're offending all of them because you don't respect it. I say to all of you, Merry Christmas. And you can say Happy Kwanzaa to me. You can say just Happy Day to me. I'm not going to take offense and say, where's my Christmas wish? I'll wish you what I feel. And it means, have a great day, you wish me what you feel, and it'll mean the same to me. We just got to accept our differences and stop trying to hide them. Hiding our differences doesn't make them go away. Recognizing them, enjoying them, learning about them, and realizing that we will always be different is the better and more peaceful way to do it. We're going to cut this out. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Cool Kwanzaa, whatever. Enjoy. Peace and cheers, love and harmony.